So, in a continued attempt to vlog more, um, I've been trying to think of ways that I can incorporate Disney Bound and YouTube. People would ask me, why don't you vlog? And I could never really think of a way that I can incorporate Disney Bounding into a video because I didn't just want to sit here and be like, here are some colors that Disney characters wear and here are the colors that you should wear. It's been brought to my attention that people have a lot of logistical questions. Like, how do you put together a Disney Bound? How do you make your Disney Bounds better? And what's the whole purpose behind Disney Bounding? So this is going to be my Disney Bound vlog series. So for those that are new to Disney Bounding or don't even know what Disney Bounding is, Disney Bounding is a way that you can have fun with fashion, creating outfits based off of what your favorite Disney character might wear using items that you can buy at your local mall or that you can even find in your own closet and build out an outfit based off of what sort of costume they might wear without actually being in costume. So one of the questions that I get a lot is where did the name Disney Bound come from? People would ask, is it based off of Walt and Lily? And I was like, what? <laughs> I had no idea what they were talking about until somebody pointed out Lily Walt's wife, her maiden name was Bounds. So at one point in their courtship, they were literally Disney Bounds. Really cute, a great coincidence, not at all where it came from. The origin story is a lot more boring than that. I was going to Disney World for the first time since I was a kid. I needed something to put my energy into and all my excitement. So I created Disney Bound because I was literally Disney Bound. So there are two components with putting together your Disney Bound outfit. The first is color palette and the second is accessories. Um, so today I'm Disney Bounding as Captain Hook. So Captain Hook wears his red jacket. So I've got on my red blouse and you could use a red jacket, a red hoodie, whatever you'd like to wear. He's got his white frilly pirate blouse. So I've got my white shirt on underneath. Then he's got his like magenta pants on. So I too am wearing my magenta pants and then I've got my black patent booties on because he wears black shoes and I feel like these look kind of piratey. Definitely need to find a better way to show this than lifting my leg in the air. But so this is my Captain Hook look. <laughs> the second is accessories. So Captain Hook wears his pirate hat with his white feather in his hat. So I'm wearing my cake worthy captain's hat uh, as I feel like it goes well with my Captain Hook Disney Pound. Other accessories that Captain Hook might use. I'm wearing my sword necklace from Disney Couture. It's actually Queen of Hearts, but it's a sword and it works with Captain Hook, so I'm gonna wear it. Then when I'm trying to think of accessories when it comes to putting together your Disney Bound outfit, I like to think of not only do the things that they might wear, but the items that they might come in contact with. So, you know, there's the crocodile. So if you have like a crocodile bracelet or a little crocodile ring, you could wear that and kind of tie in that part of his storyline as well. So I'm very accessible across all social medias. So feel free to submit your questions however you feel like contacting me. Hopefully we're gonna have a lot of Disney fashion fun and make your Disney Bound the best Disney Bound it can possibly be.